They do these tests on you and they know when you're gonna die. I became obsessed. He gave me 10.4 years. Wow. Completely changed my life. Welcome to the Balancing Chaos Podcast. A lifestyle podcast where we will interview guests about wellness, business, and just about everything in between. Through our conversations, we hope to inspire you to live a beautiful, full, and joyful life as you navigate balancing the chaos. He is one of our best family friends and the president of the UFC. Without any further ado, please help us welcome Dana White to the show. Thank you for being here. No, thanks for having me. Amazing. Thank you, man. <laughs> Pleasure. Let's talk a little bit because you started, like you said, you were you were training and you were doing things like that. Has your own health been important to you the whole time you've been a, a business entrepreneur as well? Kinda. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I I thought that I did, but the problem with me is is that I'm a guy. I'm one of these guys that like if I'm all if I I'm all in no matter what we're doing. If I say hey we're gonna go out and have the best time of our life, I'm all in. <laughs> If I say I'm gonna get healthy and get in shape, I'm all in. I, right. I'm, there, there's no middle ground with me. So um, I like food, and uh, I've been, you know, I've been flying around the world, eating all the best food, going to the best restaurants that you, that you could go to. And then when you get in your fifties, you don't realize how that shit just catches up with you. And uh, you know, I had all this stuff wrong with me uh, over the last couple of years. And I thought it was just part of being 50. Yeah. I was like, oh shit, I'm 50 now. It's like it's like your car, when you hit 50,000 miles, all the shit starts falling apart. It's <laughs> like supposed to feel like shit. Right, and you're like, shit, exactly. <laughs> you're like, should I pay to fix this thing or should I just fucking buy a new car? You know what I mean? That's, that's how I've been feeling the last couple of years since yeah. I turned 50. So were you seeing doctors for all of that? Or, yeah. yeah. So I, I, I have lost all faith and, and, and modern medicine and 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 I, since the pandemic yes the pandemic showed me how full of shit everybody is yeah. and uh you know basically these guys just put you on medication to i don't know put a band-aid it's a exactly to to, to 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 block the symptoms but the problems are all still there you know and so then you get other problems from the medication it's a nightmare 100 percent. then you start well i mean all you have to do is watch one medication commercial it'll tell you that you know the side effects if you look at the side effects you're like holy shit maybe i'd rather just have this and 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 yeah. not take any medicine the side effects sound worse than what I have. <laughs> I always thought those should be illegal. I'm like, you shouldn't be able to pitch pharma like that. And well, like no, market it's crazy. it like that. Like, do you feel tired? Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> yeah, no, that's true. And, and and Chris Rock has a good stand-up routine about that. They'll come up with something. Oh, I got that. You know what I mean? <laughs> exactly, Everything they say. Exactly. Yes, of course. Yeah. But but it's so true. It's it's so true. They're full of shit. They're all pushing pills on us and yeah. trying to get us on this this medication that we don't need, and it never fixes the problem. It just masks everything or makes you feel shittier. Yeah. So I, I've had this good fr friend. You guys are too young to know, but Casey Kasem, mm -hmm. well, he was a top forty radio guy, yeah. he, super huge popular. He was also the voice for Shaggy on Scooby Doo, <laughs> and uh, his daughter and I have been really good friends for like twenty five years. And randomly, she calls me one day and she's like, you know, I love you, you're one of my best friends, I can never repay you for what you've done for me and all this stuff, so I'm gonna introduce you to somebody that you need to meet. His name is Gary Brecca from 10X Health Systems. And, uh, and she's always doing something, you know, like, like that and, and, and what I usually call hippie shit. She's <laughs> doing this hippie shit that's like, you know. <laughs> Sounds like exactly what my dad would say about me. <laughs> right. <laughs> she's, she's fucking meditating and she's <laughs> doing something and, you know, I, 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 was, I was never into that stuff. So the one thing that she told me about Gary Brecca that got me interested was he's a human biologist, he's not a doctor, and he's a mortality expert. So he used to work for the insurance companies which he says are the dirtiest businesses on planet Earth. Basically, they send these guys in like him, they do these tests on you, and they know when you're gonna die. And they're right within a month. So I'm like, wait a minute, this guy can tell me that was your hook. when I'm gonna die and be right within a month? And she's like, yeah, it's incredible. But just your blood, pretty much. Yeah, and DNA. Your, your blood and your DNA. Yeah. I became obsessed. Yeah. Obsessed. <laughs> 
So I had to meet this guy. I had to get my blood done by him, and I had to have him tell me when I was going to die, which most people didn't. Were like, "You're crazy. Why would you want to know that?" Two reasons. Number one, you you do. Here's the thing about living. Uh, you know, how long are you going to live? Right. You don't want to blow all your money before you die. But you don't want to leave too much money on the table either. Yeah, you can't when you take die, it with right? you, exactly. So, so I, I was, I was, I said, okay. Well, if he tells me I got seventeen years, I can lay this thing out and go crazy and have have a blast for the next seventeen years. That's how twisted I am. That's where I was at. So that's what I wanted to know. So my son had his twenty first birthday. We did it down in Miami. Gary Brecca and Ten X is out of Miami. So I went down there. They did my blood work, and I'm dying to know when I'm going to die. So he calls me up and he says, we got your blood work back. I'm like, all right, give it to me. What, you know, what, tell, tell me when I'm, he says, I'm going to fly out there on Wednesday. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> right. Uh, you're going to drag gonna this thing out till Wednesday. He's like, I, I, I want to sit down and I want to, I want to walk you through everything. So he comes out on Wednesday. And, and, and the thing that got me is I believe in nothing until you prove to prove to me that, that, that what you're talking about is true. This guy sat down, he knows nothing about my medical history. I told him nothing about how I feel, what's going on. He sat down for three hours, walked through my blood work, and told me every single thing that was wrong with me. He also told me what, what was wrong with my parents. Wow. And he was right about mm -hmm. everything. Yeah. So by the time I was done talking to him, I was blown away. And then he said, so do you wanna know you know, how many years you have left? And I'm like, yeah, he gave me 10.4 years. Wow. Yeah. He said, if you keep doing what you're doing right now and you stay on this trajectory, you got 10.4 years. And he's citing. I was like, fuck, I'm, 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 I'm 52. You know what I mean? I was like, cause when we did it, I was 52. I'm 53 now, but That's I'm like, insane. that takes me to 62 and a half, almost a half. Um, so, uh, Got to at least get to the average. He, he said, yeah, exactly, exactly. Give me 70. He said, uh, he said, you do exactly what I tell you to do for 10 weeks, and I guarantee you I'll change your life. So I was in. My legs were so fucked up that I couldn't put my socks on in the morning. I couldn't bend over to, to put my socks on because my legs were so screwed up. My sleep apnea was so bad that I rarely ever got any sleep, and I, I would wake up in the middle of the night and throw up almost every night. Oh my God. So I was throwing up so much that I was losing my voice. So I could, I could barely even talk, and I wasn't sleeping. Um, uh, I, I, was, I was borderline diabetic. I was like a tenth of a point away from being diabetic. Um, so all this crazy shit that, that uh, he tells me, now, here I am, now I'm like 13 weeks in and I'm on the second phase of what he does. I don't snore anymore. Crazy. I stop snoring. I go to the doctor, okay? Now anybody who's listening, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I go to the doctor and I tell them the problems I'm having sleeping. They send me to a, a stupid sleep study, <laughs> okay? I go in there and sleep for three hours. They got fucking uh, wires. wires and patches and shit all over me, okay? So I do the sleep study, and, and how do I fix it? What do I do? What do you think? A drug. Here's a CPAP machine <laughs> that <laughs> some 400-pound dude has to use, right? That, that's what these guys are using. That, that, that's what I have to do. I, so th they show me 30 different masks and all the shit. <laughs> I go to sleep. An hour later, I rip the thing off my face and, and throw it on the floor, okay? No. That's, that's what I did. And I guarantee anybody listening right now, that's exactly what you did too if you have sleep apnea or you snore too much. Yeah. You did the same thing. And it doesn't work. It's terrible. Um, um, the, you, you do this guy's diet. You, you, you get keto. You take some of these supplements he's on. According to my wife, who used to have to sleep with earplugs, and I'd wake up three times a night because I'd wake up gasping for air or um, you know, ha having to throw up in the middle of the night. None of that shit. She doesn't hear a peep out of me anymore. That's amazing. You're right. And, and I sleep seven, eight hours a night now. Um, my legs, I mean, I get up and show you what I can do with my legs now. Uh, 
my legs, I feel like I'm 35 years old again. Um, all of my numbers have dropped. My triglycerides were 764. What? Yeah. I was on the verge of like a stroke. Like when he first saw my triglycerides, he was like, he didn't want me to do any cardio for through the first phase of this. He was afraid I was going to have a stroke or something. That is wild. Now, after 10 weeks, my triglycerides went from 764 to under 300. Wow. Um, and all my numbers are just starting to level out now. I'm on, I'm on phase two uh, of this 10X health systems thing. But the most important thing is I feel like I'm 35 years old again. Yeah. And, and I'll bet this is happening with a lot of people too. Let me, let me th- this one. I, I had um, Epstein Barr. Yeah. So we'd be in the middle of meetings and I was falling asleep oh in the middle God. of meetings, right? Yeah. And I figured it was because of my sleep apnea and I, I had Epstein Barr. And what happens is when you're young and you get the measles, yeah. It, it, it creates it this it, virus, Epstein right? bar. Well, a lot of people now feel shitty after COVID or if they didn't have COVID, they got the shot. Yeah. So they feel horrible after the shot and they're tired all the time and all this stuff. It's Epstein bar. Yeah. I was talking to three doctors. They didn't diagnose that. They didn't diagnose my legs. They didn't diagnose me as almost um, um, diabetic. And they gave me a CPAP machine for my sleep apnea. That's so crazy. I the, the Epstein Barr thing is like I've seen it so many times too with my clients. Like the the energy, it's wildly but, common, right? Yeah, but it's super common. And the other and, thing, and is, more so since COVID. More so since COVID, yes. yeah. That since the shots and everything, it's like it's like it triggers it almost to kick back mm-hmm. in. But I think what you said too about like being pre-diabetic. What most Americans don't know is that like eighty-three percent of the population is actually in that pre-diabetes range, and then they wonder why they can't lose weight. And it's like all of a sudden Gary puts you on the supplements and the like prescription diet. And how much weight have you lost? If we, you don't mind me, thirty asking. pounds. No, you can ask me anything. I've lost thirty pounds. Um, I mean, you look fantastic, but like you said, it's yeah. more even more so about the energy. Yeah, no, it's it, lo- losing the weight is great, but I'm telling you, when I turned 50, I felt like I was 70, yeah. okay? And everything was just going like this, and I'm like, this must be part of being 50. Not true. It, it's, it's about not getting the right information, not getting the right diagnosis, taking garbage prescription pills that don't work. Mm -hmm. And Gary was telling me they had me on like four times the thyroid uh, medication that I should have been on, you know. That was me too. All that kind of bullshit. And and I I have absolutely no faith in modern medicine and I definitely have zero faith in any type of, uh, uh, you know, medical advice from Las Vegas. Las Vegas <laughs> is so bad. It's I mean, worst. at least if you go to California, you know what I mean? They've got some t- t- some guys in California that are better. I'm at a point now in my life, it's like, if I break my arm, I'm gonna go to the doctor and I'm gonna find the best guy to fix my arm, you know, for shit like that. But for all this other stuff, no. I'm staying away from doctors. I hear you, I hear you. That's what's so refreshing about Gary though. He's like, you're not that broken. The human body is incredibly resilient. You just have to give it the right materials. Yeah, 100%. To, to do what it needs to do. And that That's makes like, sense. That makes sense. Right? <laughs> like we're not supposed to take all this shit that, yeah, you What know, did he say? Like, if your, your kid has ADD, they're not Adderall deficient. Yeah. <laughs> right? Well, that's the other thing that he says. When, he, when, he, when you talk about the keto diet and you, and you listen to all these other people and what they say, there are essential um, fats that your body needs or yeah. you'll die. There's essential amino acids that your body needs or you'll die. Yeah. There's no such thing as an essential carbohydrate. That is, I didn't, I've never heard that before. Yeah. Wow. There's no such thing as an essential carbohydrate. Yeah. And it's true. And the other thing is, if you look at, if you look at commercials and what's, slapped in our face every day. It's all about eating garbage. And oh, packaged sh- processed shit. shit. Yeah. Exactly. And, and bigger carbs, hundred yeah. percent. And, and, and you really don't need carbs. And now there's this big argument. If you listen to Rogan, um, and your uncle right yeah. now, they're all on this carnivore diet. Yeah. Like Rogan posted this picture yesterday. It was a guy with a bow and arrow shooting an elk or a deer or something. He said, you don't ever see etchings on the wall of people making salads. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? It's true. It is true. I mean, that's what they ate back then. And now they're starting to look at stuff like intermittent fasting and how, um, you know, these guys wouldn't eat until they hunted again. And you would go out on an empty stomach and you wouldn't eat until you hunted again. All this stuff makes sense to me. It makes more sense than take these drugs and take these pills. Yeah, for real. 
Um, oh, yeah. So speaking of intermittent fasting, is that something you're doing? What are, like give us like three things that since you started working with Gary that Gary that you do to take care of your health every day? Yeah, so I, I've been on a keto diet now for 13 weeks. I feel incredible. I love it. Um, and, and the other thing that's happening right now is they have keto everything. They have keto bread, so you can yeah. make sandwiches. Yeah. They have keto pasta. Um, you, you know, they have all this great keto food that you can eat. It wasn't like five years ago, you ate meat and salads all and the that's time. All, yeah. You know, and avocados and nuts. And there, there's so much uh, different things that you can eat, and the weight will just rip right off you. Um, so uh, I, I've been eating better. I don't eat till two o'clock in the afternoon. So my first meal is at two o'clock in the okay. afternoon. My last meal is at seven o'clock. So you have a five hour window. Yep, and, and the other thing that you that you learn once you start doing this is you realize how much you used to snack and eat yeah. all this garbage and bullshit. And it wasn't because you were hungry, it's because you were more bored, you know what I mean? It's so convenient, it's everywhere. Convenient, it tastes good, and it's yeah. just, you know, once you start doing this, I, I can't tell you how good you feel. I can't, you have to understand, I have to, the people that are listening have to understand, I don't fall into all this hippie bullshit. That, you know, I'm not on <laughs> my latest. That, well, before this, I did paleo, and then I was on, I was vegan, then I went back. I don't do any of this shit. I, I'm like average Joe real guy, okay? <laughs> and, you know, I, I go to every great restaurant. I eat all the shit that would, you know, you know, I do the thing fuck it Friday, every Friday. Those are the kind of things that I like. You know, I like fair food. You know, when you go to the fair and they got yeah. all the nasty shit in fair. Exactly. I like French fries. I love Del Taco. It's American. I, exactly. <laughs> I'm that guy, right? So this isn't, I'm not one of these guys that hops on every little fad that happens or whatever. I met this guy through Kerry Kasem. He proved to me that he's legit and he knows what he's talking about. I, I invested in him for 10 weeks and this guy changed my life completely changed my life. Are you doing any meditation or breath work or anything like that that he recommends? I'm not that crazy yet, no. <laughs> I, 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 haven't, I haven't gone to that level yet. Um, but let me tell you what, if he came and told me, you know, if you did this or that, it would do. He's got me every morning, I, hey, and let me tell you what, this healthy shit is time consuming, it okay? Is. It's very time consuming. <laughs> I, I get up in the morning, I cold plunge, which I'm now addicted to. Um, Makes you feel great. Start at first. A hundred percent. It's incredible. Um, I'm doing the alkaline pad. Okay. You know, yeah. you do that for 20 minutes because he tells you alkaline water doesn't work. It's total crock of shit. You, yeah. you can't alkaline your body. Uh, then I do the oxygen. Uh -huh. and then I do the light bed. Do you do the oxygen while you're working out? Yeah. So I do it. Uh, he had me doing... It, it, with the uh, Aerodyne, yeah, yeah. that thing is the fucking devil, okay? That thing is the <laughs> devil. I had to stop doing the Aerodyne. I do it on the treadmill now. Um, <laughs> then I do the light bed, then I do my work, exactly. So how, does it, how long does it all take you? Uh, so I start at 9.30 in the morning, and, and I usually get done around uh, 11, 11.30. Okay. Yeah. That's good. I like it. Yeah. You're taking care of you. That's yeah. No, I, f I feel like a million bucks. And, and the other thing that happens to you is once you get into it and you start to feel good again, yeah. you start to feel really good, yes. it becomes addictive and, and you're like, yeah, this is how I want to feel every day. Feeling good is the most motivating thing to being it really consistent. Is. It, it really is. Especially if you felt like shit. Before, yeah. I mean, you guys are young. You guys can go on a three-day bender. <laughs> you guys can eat Del Taco for a month. You guys can do all this shit and your body bounces right back. When you're 50... Like, Any one of those things destroys you for, for, for weeks, okay? <laughs> so enjoy it while you got it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> so thank you, Dana. This has been fantastic. I think that this is a great place um, to leave everybody with. I think everyone already knows where they can find you on Instagram <laughs> and social media, but is there anything you want to leave our audience with? <laughs> nah, I just if, if, if you guys uh, dive into this thing, good luck, and, and, and I, I promise you it will change your life. Thank Amazing. you so much Thank for being you, with us. We appreciate your time. We know you're a very busy man. Thanks for having me. We really hope that you enjoyed that episode. You can follow me on Instagram at Wellness by Kelly. And if you're new around here, you can sign up for the WBK seven day free trial where you can get access to all of my low impact workouts, blood sugar balancing, plant based recipes, and guided meditations, all available on wellnessbykelly.com and on the WBK app. 
Hey everyone, if you enjoyed that episode from Dana White, make sure to tune in next week for Gary Brecka's episode as he takes a deeper dive into the Dana White health journey and his experience of Dana's remarkable turnaround. We hope you enjoy. Hey, thanks for listening. Please make sure you rate, review, and subscribe to the podcast. You can also connect with us on social media at Wellness by Kelly. Drop us a DM for who you want to hear from. 